Friday, two days after our last little adventure, and got off work today at one, and I started hiking at two, it's almost three now, and I got a shed, first one of the day, let's come around this juniper, Bob's your uncle, it's been laying here a few years, Bright and direct sun would bake the crap out of it. It's so hot down here. Right on. Not skunk today. Let's see if we can pick up another one. I'd like a freshie. I really want a freshie. With how warm it is and it only being early February. I don't know, but we're gonna try. Cause that's what it's about. Feels really good to be out here though. I'm not gonna lie every hike you just get stronger and stronger and you don't feel as tired you can go for longer I wore my work socks because I was in a hurry which was a big mistake it's rubbing my foot a bit but besides that we are on the board for the day number six of the season let's get another one out shed hunting again Day three for mule deer. I saw a buck packing about 40 minutes ago. It's a little discouraging. It wasn't a big buck though. It was a, a medium sized buck. Really boxy looking. Leaves me not much hope for finding any little deer sheds, but we might find a big one. There is some sign in here. <laughs> Hiked this many times before. We're basically only looking for fresh stuff unless there was a shed that was buried in the snow that we missed. I've always done good on this bench though. I found them there. Found him over here, found a deadhead here. There's been a buck here. Where's your antlers, boys? Where is your antlers? On the board, broke the two point curse for the year. Walked right up to it. Man, that's actually crazy that the shed is laying here because right under those trees i've found three sheds in two years all fresh meaning that this one was sitting right here the whole time buried under the snow and it's bigger than everything else i found in better condition but at least we're not skunked for the day that is a buck sweet it just goes to show that even if you think you've cleaned it out, you can always find another one right under your damn nose. Well, I'm just trying to meet back up with my buddy. And I just found two fresh sheds off two different deer, same side. That is one of the coolest as they lay photos ever. Well, I put in a really big day today 
earlier than I was thinking for where we are anyways. Got a text that my friend pulled the shed off of a deer that we have a previous year off of fresh, big, ready, big bloody red base. So that is all time. <laughs> but look at this. I thought it was a match set I just walked up on. Two right sides, fresh, side by side in the same spot. <laughs> How does that happen? Maybe they bumped heads or something, but. Nice young four pointer. And it was a three pointer, broken. Too awesome. That made the day for sure. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll continue down this trail here a little bit and see if I can't match them up. They might be right in here somewhere. I don't know. in the zone I'm trying to match up the big guy or any of the three bucks but really we want to find the other side to that big one another big ass rub right here They're so obvious when you actually spot them, but it's spotting them. Freaking deer can walk anywhere. Also just shredded. We haven't had much luck up here in the past matching up antlers. It's, it's pretty steep ground and it's hard to really know where they go. They go everywhere. <laughs> Watch your step, Kim. <sighs> Standing in a bed with some blood in it. Buck track going this way. Who knows? Where are the matches? All right, I'm up top. This is day four for shed hunting for mealies this year. It's puke and snow, rode the sleds in. It was not very fun because somebody drove up here with like 50 inch tires and chains and totally destroyed the road. But I am on the board for the day, just walking in a blow down juniper soup. But there is a shed. It is old and it's chewed. Look like a three point, maybe a four point once upon a time. Not much left of her now though. That's number 10 for the season. Now yeah, we'll throw it in the pack, keep going. Cause you always carry the last one you found until you find something better or worth bringing home. So we're carrying it. Well, it is a beautiful, sunny, snowy afternoon. Well, midday. The frickin' sun is crazy bright. But we're on day five. Day five is shed season for me. And we're at 10 so far this year. 
it just puked a couple three inches of snow up here but justin pulled a fresh set yesterday and it got me motivated because the bucks are dropping so we're gonna go check a spot that i found a pretty nice probably three-year-old or four-year-old buck one side to him last year never did go back to try and match him up maybe we'll find it today maybe we'll find his fresh set today that'd be sweet because he had nice forks and yeah good to be out getting some exercise way better than sitting down in the soup and down just got to get up to 4,000 feet and try you'll find sheds The curse of the two points continue but at least this one's a big two point look at the size of that freaking thing holy crap <laughs> that is a big two wow blood red base mega two He's mature as crap. Like, that is a heavy deer. I think I actually might have a shed off of this deer from two years ago. He was exactly the same. But that is a cool shed. You don't find big twos like that every day. He has a brow. Right on. Okay. Here he is. <laughs> Look at that two point man holy moly it literally just fell off like within a day or two it snowed like the last couple of days and melted yesterday and then snowed again last night and this morning so the other side to this bad boy is here somewhere it would be a cool set like can you imagine just like boom big old two I hope I match this up because that would be a really cool one. Better than finding a small four or something like it. That's why we're out here. Sheds, baby. Yeah! Frick yeah! That is cool. Oh, wow. Justin's going to be stoked on that one. Oh, I just followed the tracks back to his bed. He came down the hill came out of here so we're gonna try and follow his track until I can't follow it anymore and then I'll loop around and look in all this surrounding timber his shed's got to be not more than a couple hundred yards away I would think it's a mature deer normally they'll lose the other one somewhat close then again he could also carry it for quite a goddamn long time and if he does that, you definitely ain't finding it. Or at least not while you're actively looking for it. You might find it randomly, but the odds go way down as soon as it's not in the immediate vicinity. That is a big ass two point though. Pretty cool deer. Update doing a few loops and I literally just saw the buck that's his track he was with another deer shed out both sides well who knows if it was him or not but it was a shed out buck so we'll keep on milling around Let's see if we can't find the other side of this guy it's here somewhere This is him, size of my palm and my forefingers. He was with a couple smaller deer. There's a bed there. Man, it sucks that it snowed. He literally just followed his tracks right to his shed. There's a bed there. And this is his bed right here bigger one it's 
got blood in it. Yeah, he's leaking out of his head. Legit. He dropped the other side, like, very, very recently. All right, let's follow his track, I guess. This is gonna be hard, though. Here we are again. He's bedded down twice this morning in here. I'm missing it. I haven't done enough gritting. I've just been trying to follow where the sign is. Right close to where he dropped it. It's got, a, there's a lot of long grass and it's not a very, it's not one of those sheds that sticks up really proud as it sits on the ground if it's tines up. So you could walk by it pretty easy. We'll keep looking though. A little rub. Man, I'm not having any luck finding this shed. I found it up there. And I'm just gridding back and forth down below it because I'm trying to look in like a couple hundred yard area. I already walked there. There's another rub. Because realistically, if I don't find it like right here, the odds are I'm not fucking finding it. <laughs> Well, we had no luck finding the other side, but a couple hours later, cruising around, somebody didn't make it. No skull, as per usual, it's probably just a doe. But yeah, that's all we found. No old sheds, which I'm really not surprised. This place is pretty picked over. And no more freshies. Honestly, I've only seen like maybe 18 sets of deer tracks, a couple sets of bobcat and lynx. Lots of old sign up here, but. That's a cumulative. Oh, I actually might see a shed right now. Oh no. Stick, I think. Eyes are playing tricks on me. Yeah. Just a dang stick. So blind, I need binoculars <laughs> all the time. Yeah, we'll go up over this hill and start dropping back down towards the truck. Pretty good thrashed up tree. Got some good scarring in it. Where's the buck that made that? Show me your antlers, big boy. I was just walking up this little hill right after I filmed that rub and we got another one. It looks like it's pretty stuck in the snow. I'm guessing a broken antler that was a four point or a little three. It's pretty small either way. Take a picture and then we'll pull it out of the snow. Okay. 
Oh, it's old for sure. It's frozen in the ground. Yep. <laughs> Little three pointer. Just a nice little baby buck right next to a rub too on that little tree right there. Yeah, we'll throw them on the pack. Keep going. Well, I've given up. I'm out of daylight. I'm just going down this super sketchy steep hill and it is vert, like super steep. Anyways, I looked over and there's an antler. Actually, I saw that one first and the match is laying right there. Fresh set, side by side. It either got chewed or it's really weird. Oh, it's really weird. Look at that goofy thing. <laughs> and here's the other side to him. Also a two. No way. He like just dropped too. Crazy thing is, is like there's like virtually no deer sign down here at all. Like hardly. So he's just living side hill in some of this stuff. And there's a little micro set. Super cool. Normally I'd be a little bit more jacked, but it's been a heck of a day and I'm a bit tired. It's the mountain of the two points, all right. What a goofy deer. Almost like his, he got damaged on that side. It almost like might not even be a match. Well, frick, it's gotta be. They're side by side. They're the same size. Same burr, but the weird thing is is that one is crazy fresh and the other one is not, which is strange. Just whatever happened, I guess. Real red. What a goofy looking buck. All right, there's the take for the day. Pretty dang good. Fresh is always best. One old one. No big guys today, but that is a big deer. It just doesn't score. Too bad I didn't match them up. But that's number 11, 12, 13, and 14 for this year. Five fresh so far. Not too shabby. Thanks for watching, you guys. The curse of the two-point shirt continues. Man, it seems like every year I pick up more of these things than anything else. Nonetheless, it was still a great day, got a lot of miles in, feeling really good. Let's hope one of these days we can go out and find something with forks, but on the next episode, we're going to go back and try and get redemption on matching up this buck. It would be a really cool set to have. Stay tuned to see if we can find it.